The 2009 Nissan Maxima has taken quite a sip from the fountain of youth. Completely redesigned, it embodies more than ever the flagship sedan that Nissan wants to set against its rivals in the luxury and sports sedan world. The most striking changes obviously involve the styling. Designers subscribe to the liquid motion philosophy in order to create breathy, fluid lines. The front and rear wheel houses are rounder and bulgier, while the belt line has been slimmed down. From above, the vehicle has a distinct hourglass shape. Up front, the hood is streamlined and the grille reflects the more conservative Nissan style. Only the rear can be mistaken for that of a recent Altima. The interior of the new Maxima has also been completely revamped. The premium version I tested sported the mid-dash navigation system with a good sized screen that nonetheless required a lot of dexterity to handle properly. It's actually almost identical to the Infiniti family system. Tasteful, easy to read dials and noteworthy materials and finish complete the spacious passenger compartment which features relatively comfortable seats. Fans will find a well-known engine under the Maxima's hood, Nissan's 3.5 liter V6 which already powers half of the manufacturer's fleet. With 290 horses, there's more than enough power to propel the vehicle without it ever seeming out of breath, even when accelerating where it really excels. However, the torque effect is still felt in the steering wheel when accelerating with insistence. This propensity quickly passes, and handling then becomes quite efficient without being sporty. Comfort is ensured by a suspension that's configured differently in the sport version and that contributes to its drivability. Its many interesting features include a continuously variable transmission, a technology that's not always efficient, but that Nissan managed to tame successfully, especially in manual mode. Considering its strengths and weaknesses, it's hard to say if the new Maxima is in fact a sport or luxury sedan. In truth, it emphasizes comfort and quality of finish first, which obviously puts it in the second category.